Hey, it's Dr. Charles, a.k.a. Coach MD. In my over 30 years of medical practice, I've made it my goal to help you create a great life by achieving a strong mind, a healthy body, and an unshakable spirit. Today, I want to talk to you about heart disease and stress. Uh, a new study was just came out, and uh, Brian P. Dunleavy has reviewed that for the health news of UPI, and it's entitled Stress-Induced Blockages Raise Risk for Death in people with heart disease. Well, we all, you know, know that stress is not great for us, right? But what does it do to us physiologically? And uh, that, that's something which is really, really important to understand and to think about. Stress worsens heart disease symptoms and increases the risk for death from heart attack or stroke among those with the condition, a study published Tuesday by JAMA found. Blockages in blood flow to the heart, known as myocardial ischemia, caused by stress, more than double the risk for death in people with coronary heart disease, even if their heart disease is stable and well-controlled by treatment, the data showed. This is very scary, right? Participants in the study with mental stress-induced myocardial ischemia had a two and a half times higher risk for death from a heart-related event, such as heart attack or stroke, over the next five years compared with those without the condition. All of the participants in the study had been diagnosed with heart disease and were considered stable due to treatment, according to the researchers. Psychological stress is a powerful risk factor for adverse outcomes in people with heart disease, study co-author Dr. Viola Vaccarino told UPI in an email. Exposure to acute stress can cause a reduction of blood flow to the heart to the heart muscle in some people, and this can increase their risk of cardiac events or death, said Vaccarino, a professor of cardiovascular research at Emory University, Atlanta. And Emory has a, a, a very strong uh, cardiovascular research department. More than 18 million adults in the United States, or about 7% of the population, have coronary heart disease, at least that are known, and the most common form of heart disease it is the most common form of heart disease, the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention estimates. It is caused by a reduction in blood flow to the heart muscle due to a buildup of plaque in arteries, heart arteries. The condition kills nearly 400,000 people per year and is the leading cause of death nationally, the CDC says. More than half of adults in the United States experience significant mental stress, the American Psychological Association estimates. For this study, Vaccarino and her colleagues studied the effects of stress on 918 adult participants aged 18 to 79 with stable coronary artery disease. Uh, I, you know, 18-year-olds? Wow, they must have. I don't know how they chose an 18-year-old with coronary artery disease, but that um, is a very young age. Really, any, anything before the age of 50 is considered uh, very highly aggressive. Uh, but 18, I'm not sure where they got that, you know, that, that's, that may be a different case. That might be a kind of a genetic case, which I'm not sure how that fits in with this. But anyway, that's an aside. About 300 of the participants had been hospitalized after a heart attack during the eight months before the study began. For the study researchers, for the study, the researchers induced mental stress in participants by having them perform a public speaking task. Now, and as, as an aside, it, you may have seen there have been many lists over the years about the top 10 most stressful events in life, and public speaking is up there, right? Public speaking, moving, uh, uh, moving is up there, loss of a spouse or a child is up there, um, public speaking, wow, fear of spiders is pretty high too, actually. Participants were given two minutes to prepare a speech and three minutes to deliver it in front of an audience of at least four people. Their mental stress levels were assessed based on blood pressure and heart rate, which were recorded throughout the public speaking task, the researchers said. In addition, the researchers me measured participants' conventional stress or the stress on the heart muscles caused by physical exercise using a standard cardiac stress test, which measures heart function during physical activity. Among the study participants, 147 participants 
or 16% develop mental stress-induced myocardial ischemia, and 281 or 31% had conventional stress-induced myocardial ischemia, with 96 or 10% suffering both. When they say conventional stress-induced, that's from the uh, stress test. 12 or 8% of the participants who had mental stress-induced myocardial ischemia died from a cardiovascular-related cause within five years, the researchers said. Wow. Wow. So this study has been going on for a while. In comparison, 4% of those who did not develop mental stress-induced myocardial ischemia died from a heart-related cause within five years. Okay, so double okay, the amount. About 12% of participants with mental stress-induced myocardial ischemia died from any cause within five years, compared with just under 8% of those without the condition the data showed. This was not because these individuals were sicker or prone to reduction in blood flow with other forms of heart challenge, like a physical stress test using the treadmill because they measured that. Actually, those who developed ischemia with mental stress only were at higher risk of recurrent events and death than those who develop ischemia with a conventional stress test only. So that's who they compared them against. Wow, there's a lot of ads here, and I guess that, that ends the, the story. It kind of comes to an abrupt end. But what that, what, you know, how does mental stress cause the heart to malfunction or to decrease blood flow? So there's a, we look at the heart as kind of like as an economics, right, supply and demand. Uh, economics 101, prices go up when the supply is low or the demand is very high. So, but if you have a decreased supply and an increased demand, then the, the, the prices skyrocket. Well, similarly in the heart, if you have a blockage in the heart, so the supply of blood or oxygen to the heart is decreased and the demand goes up, whether through physical exercise or here we're seeing with mental stress, then that can cause not the prices to go up, but the heart to malfunction because it needs more. It needs more oxygen. And mental stress causes hormones to be released like adrenaline and cortisol. And what those do is they put more of a demand for oxygen on the heart muscle. And so that demand goes up and the supply is, is, is decreased uh, to begin with. So with an increased demand, a lower supply of blood, that's a perfect storm that can cause a heart problem. So as, as I've always talked about, as I have on, on this channel, uh, I have meditations uh, and, and, and also techniques that I, I talk about and understanding of how our automatic brain works that causes us to have the stress. And when you don't bring these stressors up to the level of awareness and consciousness, they can eat at us and in the long run do great harm. So it's important to understand the challenges of everyday life and to work and to seek out those, uh, uh, the knowledge that it takes to be able to get healthier and to decrease the levels of that stress. So until next time, I'm Dr. Charles, AKA Coach MD, urging you to stay strong in mind, in body, and in soul. Bye for now. Dr. Charles, Coach MD, thanks for stopping by. Make sure to like and comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you think you have a friend who might benefit from this video, share it with them. For access to exclusive content, support my Patreon. There you'll get private access to videos, meditations, health tips, even relationship and financial tips. You'll have a say in what I produce and be able to participate in a monthly call with me. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you soon.